Okay. It's time for Burial at Sea. New game. Yeah. I guess that was the last time I played this. Uh, medium is fine. the sort who can afford to turn down legitimate work. <coughs> what do you want? How about we start with a light? Well. Well, you got a name, miss? Damn, it's right. Elizabeth. You can call me Elizabeth. What can I do for you? There's a girl who needs to be found. Maybe you've seen her. This girl. This girl's dead. You know her. You'll see dozens of her type down by the docks or the slums in Apollo Square. Orphans. With Fontaine's charity shut. No place for them. But her you know. As I said, the girl's dead. Lost. Look, I don't know where you get... Lost isn't dead. Name your radar will pay you for this work. You'd do this one gratis, wouldn't you? I don't follow. Something tells me you will. What? New booker? Money? In coin format? Oh, man. <laughs> my instincts were correct where's sally i don't know but i know someone who does follow me oh going good what's this girl to you what i need from her is my business but i know where to start looking Okay. Something tells me a man with your particular talents could be useful. Fontaine's thugs rotten former department store. What do you want? An autograph? You famous? Whoa. Elizabeth <laughs> still getting in the way. Ryan, <laughs> he's a big fish in an awful small pond. Anything you say, pal. If I was running things, I'd say, why just one city? Why not two, eh? Why not three? Probably, probably cost a lot. Oh, plus Eve. Look at this place, it's fucking huge. Then Einstein would have remained a patent clerk. It's our responsibility to strive. Here, here. Hmm. <laughs> 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 All right. Little wonders, educational facility, emancipated children, emancipated ideas. Stop. What are they? Means go. Where have you been? This Cabin in Arcadia? Little, little sisters. Atom factories. It's grotesque. Mm, not from around here, compromise. are you? Is that why we came to Rapture? I could compromise in Red Hook. We're just men and women, Alan. 
You hold yourself to that standard, you'll never be happy. In what country is there a place for men like me? Men who refuse to say yes to the doubters and the parasites. Yes, yes, but even Andrew Ryan takes a vacation. Hmm. And those... those like, water oh, marks come on. <laughs> got on the day. screen, could, could they not be there? I hate that. Ah, oh, you're actually using the new mode of mail things. Oh, and a big daddy. What do they even look like under those suits? What do you mean? They're just some kind of machine? No, they're dudes who have their skin grafted to the suits. It's real fuck. Well, I say you should have to prove you're properly versed on a topic before you're allowed to vote on it. Otherwise, it's just a knee-jerk response from the uninformed. Does more harm than good. Who would judge that? A system like that invites abuse. Having a benevolent dictatorship takes care of that. Benevolence isn't human nature. Everyone wants to cut the tallest flower up there. Do something exceptional. Those parasites resent it. Condemn it, or worse yet, take it for themselves. Nice finally consorting with the equally talented, eh? <laughs> Getting recognized properly? Being part of something bigger? with it. Do you have any idea how valuable my time is? Ah. I'm going. Ryan's been good to me. Few are the patrons who truly understand the struggle of the artist. But even I was a little leery when he shuttered Fontaine's business and sent that bald buck to a grave deep in the briny. But when Ryan buried all of Fontaine's pals in that department store, someone had to find a home for all those freshly minted orphans. And if I turned a dollar or two in the process, you can hardly blame me for doing well by doing good. Hmm. In my home to turn them into little sisters. Not exactly good. Look, Things are fucking huge. <laughs> Me can go ahead and inherit the earth for all I care. I'm fine, right here in still on Earth, lady. That, that's just, that's stupid. Funny. What? You're not knowing about the little sisters. How long have you been in Rapture? Let's just say I don't get out much. You've got eyes and ears, don't you? If I wanted to share my life story, Mr. DeWitt, I would write my memoirs. If I learned anything about Rapture, I thought it was a place where people understood to mind their own business. I'm not gonna talk about this guy. The wit. The hostick sees you, he'll toss you out on your ass again. Hmm. Got some nerve showing your face around here, pal. Uh. Well, I can't get back there. Under the coffers with Andrew Ryan. Wow. Rapture woman. I'm saving wonders. Couture. Because you're not one of them. Rapture. Luxury you've earned. What, is, what does that one say, huh? <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Whatever. You just say the word. I'll show you what I mean. Uh. Life for her pleasure, huh? Where are we headed? The man we need to see is in the Garden of the Muses. How do you know? My sources are my own, Mr. DeWitt. If you have better information as to the whereabouts of your girl, I suggest you avail yourself of it.
Where are you taking me? When's the last time you saw Sally? What? She was taken from you, wasn't she? How do you know this? She was taken, down at Surprise. You were playing the tables and... She disappeared. And? A cop friend of mine, Sullivan, says they found her floating in the docks. You see the body? Look. Did you see the body? This world values children, not childhood. There's a profit to be made and men who make it. I'm taking you to one of them. Mr. DeWitt, you all right? I'm fine. Just get these spells sometimes. It'll pass. Refreshment, sir. Madam? We're fine, thanks. Mmm, Houdini. I went through basic with a decent sort. But the Italians, Papa this and Papa that. They can't take a crap without a payroll dispensation. Using. Uh, Winter Blast? Guten Tag. Herr Schmidt. I make ice. I suppose I should not from his father. No one from my side of the family was ever so lucky as it. Ah, Mr. DeWitt. Back again. So soon. Oh well. I enjoy a good drink. Ah. Oh. oh well, hold on. Wow. <laughs> All right. Uh. Ah. Uh, well. Best quit while you're ahead. Eh. Gamer. Damn. and competition are what fuel rapture. But that fuel can be diluted with rumor or flat-out lies. The rumor monger asks, what are these so-called splicing side effects? Well, take a look around you. Do you see anything wrong with your neighbor? The rumor monger asks, why has Tenenbaum withdrawn from the public's eye? Dr. Tenenbaum is a scientific mind unparalleled even in Rapture. She's no doubt in her lab, toiling away at her next great innovation. I heard she was in cahoots with Fontaine. Merely slander from jealous naysayers. Remember, Rapture competes through innovation, not cheap shots. Bridget Tenenbaum is a woman who represents the best of science and industry. In other words, she's a Rapture gal. Now you know. Yeah, no. no. I'm pretty sure she hates the shit she's done. Bees? Breeze? Don't mind if I do. Where are we going? That way? Well, let's go this way. Just a moment. Yeah. Wonderful to see you. Uh, yeah. Good to see you. Uh, we can definitely get back there. Guess not yet. I think we come here later. Or we can. 
come back here later. Taking the taint out of Fontaine. <laughs> Are you in the know? You've doubtlessly sampled products from Fontaine Futuristics. But do you know why Ryan Industries saved it? Frank Fontaine, business leader and benefactor of mankind? Or was he the best friend the parasite ever had? Were you aware his businesses were a front for a smuggling ring? And were you also fooled by his supposed charity work? At his free clinic, patients became test subjects and his orphanages were places that children disappeared into and never came out. Once they learned the truth, Rapture's Central Council called for the arrest of Fontaine Futuristic's owner. But, a coward to the end, Fontaine found a hail of bullets preferable to facing justice. The Council asked that Ryan Industries assume the burden of stewardship of Fontaine's ill-gotten assets. And Andrew Ryan accepted that burden for the people of Rapture. Oh, yeah. Now all citizens the can enjoy these products free of criminal taint. Now you know. Mm. Yeah, all right. Man. Fontaine got taken out by Ryan's goons for one reason, and one reason only. He built a better mousetrap. Oh, for God's sake, Armand, you want to get us both rounded up? So you admitted that Ryan's rounding people up. It was a figure of speech. The pot calling the kettle black is a figure of speech. I keep my head low and I do my job. Like a good German. Now is that a figure of speech? Sheesh. Bonjour, signore. What up, man? Days. Her little girl's been missing for days. I'm a complete wreck if Trudy even gets a nosebleed. So many children. It can't all be coincidence. It's not. Ooh, one dollar. Please, but just just the bag. Nom 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 nom. Not a bear, and I sold it, I guess. Su Chang observed strangest of coincidences. On the other side of a window, man in strange hat experimenting on Su Chang's own creation. On plasmid. Man name of Fink. Outrage! Death of intellectual property! <sighs> but. Man name of a thing is no fool. Through addition of oxidizing agent, turns plasmid ingestible through stomach lining. Mr. Ryan very impressed with Su Chong's initiative. Theft of intellectual property. Two-way street. That's how figures you salt is <laughs> figures can get absorbed through the stomach line. Huh? Lions? this one got to say the big daddy are you in the know the big daddy may look imposing but he's a gentle giant do you know all he does for rapture oh, really? these metal jets are the hands that maintain rapture digging the foundation out of the seabed and guiding structural supports into place where do these metal mysteries come from? 
Sorry, chum. That's a Ryan Industries trade secret. Now you know. did to you. I hope he's retained a capable attorney. Fucked up. Jesus. Who just says that to a person? She's like, got random. Unprompted. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hello, Booker. Where have you been hiding her? Another one. You got an issue with my food pen. You're welcome to put on an apron. I had all of these visions before coming down here of Utopia. Every man with his hand on the great chain, the wheel of progress turning. Every cliche you can imagine. And what is the first thing that happens when I open up shop? Petty thievery. Now I have to lock all my valuables in the closet. Remember 2076. It's the problem with coming to Utopia. Is that it still has the people. What was, what? What was the code there? And where exactly? Can I get like a... I think if I... Uh... Age down, really? Uh, 2076. Pause it. Feel the progress turning, every cliche you can imagine. First thing that happens when I open up shop, petty thievery. So in a shop location, watch. Now oh, that's where I found this. So a shop. How do they work? Oh. Something about stem cells. What's a stem cell? Who do I look like, Bridget Tenenbaum? The parasites. I don't think so. Two. Like, what was it? Two zero. <laughs> Two zero. <laughs> Seven six. There was here. Guess is a, a closet. Well, that had nothing. That had nothing. When Ryan take over funding futuristics, sin of a terrible violence. Splicers burning each other to bits. Lucky ones not killed, sent a department to stop prison instead. Suchan think he dead man too. But then Ryan comes to Suchang and says, Suchang want to be buried in filthy store or Suchang want to make a good salary? Work for Ryan. How much salary? Asks Su Chong. This Ryan find very funny. Welcome, please have a look around. I will. Yep, yep. Su Chong goes to work for Ryan. Initially working Fontaine. It's temporary. Temporary. Just like Gulag. <laughs> Temporary. Until someone puts bullet in your head. Hmm. This clown bothering you. 
Rose. Say the word, I'll take care of it. How is Ryan taking over Fontaine's business any different? Say eminent to me. Oh, we're going to Colin. Mr. DeWitt. We'll find my source inside of that club. Cohen? What does that lunatic have to do with Sally? Right. Look at all these nice performers. I'm sure they won't attack ever. Private party. No entry without invitation. We'll see about that. Which business do you represent, sir? Uh, business? Yes, which business? DeWitt Investigations. Mr. Cohen does not truck with private detectives. Masks of invitation went to artists and craftsmen alone. I'm with the artist struggle. We're expected... No mask, no entry. Stuffed shirt. These invitation masks he spoke of. They must have gone out to local artisans. Well, I guess we'll have to persuade someone to loan us one. The business of Rapture is business. Says it's sponsored by the Artist Struggle, the Golden Rule, and Rapture Records. I guess those stores would be as good a place to start as any. Right. What brought you to Rapture? A man. Really? You don't strike me as the romantic type. Wasn't that kind of man. Then what? There's a debt that needs repaying. I've known my share of Shylocks. You're no Shylock. Wasn't that kind of debt. Invitations to Cohen shows are highly coveted. Nobody's gonna just hand us one. You think you can figure out a way to distract the store owner while I take a look around? You just find the mask. Leave the distractions to me. Sir, ma'am. You gotta distract? What do I get? Excuse me. The lady has some questions for you. Yes, of course. What is this piece? It's by Trinet, but of course, covered by Mr. Reinhardt. Oh, it's lovely. Isn't it lovely? Cohen sends those masks out in some kind of box. Shop. Where to next, Mr. DeWitt? The Golden Rule is just across the way, or shall we go upstairs to the artist struggle? Well, whichever one I find first. in with? Will you give her the star treatment, pal? that will make it worth your while. But of course. Right away. Interesting, isn't it? An original Sander Cohen. He calls it miasma. I'm sorry, but I know precious little about art. How does it make you feel? I don't want to open my mouth for fear of what foolishness might tumble out. <laughs> Would you like me to tell you what it means? Gotta find that box. Oh, what are you? 